All right, uh, let's look at the uh, non-homogeneous equation by power series method. All right, so the equation is uh, y double prime plus 4y is equal to y. All right, so let's use the uh, power series uh, method to solve this one. All right, so y double prime is a summation and goes from uh, 2 to infinity. Then you have uh, n times n minus 1 times cn x to the n minus 2. All right, so you have then you have plus 4 times summation uh, n goes from 0 to uh, infinity uh, cn x to the n. Right, this is equal to x, right? So right hand side is not equal to zero. Alright, so but as usual, I'm gonna turn this into so we want the x to the n instead of x to the n minus two. So I'm going to change the summation um so that uh, it's gonna start from zero. So n starts from zero to infinity, right? Then uh, uh both of them um it's going to have x to the n, so I'm going to just pull out the x to the n outside, and is equal to right hand side is x. All right, then what we have is since I reduced the uh, starting number by 2, I have to increase the indices by 2. So you have uh, n becomes n plus 2, n minus 1 become n plus 1 cn becomes cn plus 2, then you have a plus 4cn. All right, so since right hand side is not equal to 0, not all coefficient will be 0, especially when n equals 1, coefficient should be 1 because uh, right hand side is 1x. All right, so we know that, that this guy, this coefficient, is equal to zero if uh, n is not equal to one. All right. So uh, so other than one, uh, we're going to get this equation. All right. So you have a c n plus two uh, is equal to. I'm going to put the four c n to the other side. I'm going to write it as negative and the four as two squared. And then I'm going to have to divide by um, n plus 2 and also n plus 1. All right, so we have a cn. All right, and another case is one, so when n equals 1, uh, this is what you need to get. So uh, it, uh, when n equals 1, uh, we're going to get, uh, let's see, um, c. Actually, maybe I should do, do this. All right, so when n equals 1, you have a 3 times 2, which is the same thing as a 3 factorial, and a c3 plus 4c1, and that this is going to be equal to, all right, the right-hand side, the coefficient of x is 1, so this has to be actually equal to 1 instead of 0, all right? Then we can find the uh, uh, coefficient from here. So here, I'm going to look at the uh, all the even terms. Let's look at the um, uh, even. Terms here. All right, so for example, uh, C2. So C2 is going to be equal to, so n equals 0 here. So it's going to be negative. Uh, 2 squared over all right, 2 times 1, which is 2 factorial. Then you have a C0. All right, then uh, C4 is going to be equal to right, negative uh, two fa uh, 2 squared over, all right, so it's going to be 4 times 3 and a C2. Then uh, if you plug in uh, this expression right here, uh, in here, right? 
then you will get this, all right? So you have uh, negative, negative. So I'm going to write it as a negative 1 squared, all right? Then you have a 2 squared and another 2 squared. So you have a 2 to the 4th power over. So you have a 4 times 3 times 2 factorial is a 4 factorial. And then you have a C0, all right? So we can still already see a pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and come up with a formula of uh, C2n. So this is going to continue this pattern. Then you're going to get the C2n is equal to, all right? So you have a negative 1 to the nth power. Then you have a 2 to the 2n power over uh, 2n factorial c0 all right so we got the formula for even terms all right so let's work on uh, odd terms so odd terms are a little tricky so here odd uh, terms all right so here if you solve this equation for uh, c3 you're going to get this uh, c3 is equal to, all right? So I'm going to have, I'm going to put a negative sign here. So here I'm going to put the 4c1 on the other side becomes negative 4c1. So I'm going to have a 4c1 and then a 1 with one, a negative sign pulled out. So it's going to be negative 1, all right? Then you're going to have to divide by 3 factorial. Right, and I'm gonna uh, rewrite this guy a little bit uh, here. All right, so you have a negative sign. All right, I'm gonna pull four. Uh, four is actually two squared, so I'm gonna pull two squared from there, and then I'm gonna put the three factorial there. Then we're gonna have uh, let's see, um, if you pull four from there, you have a C one. And if you pull 4 from negative 1, so you have a negative 1 over 4, all right? But the, since the index is 3, I would like to have a 2 cubed instead of 2 squared. So I'm going to pull another 2. So this is going to be negative uh, 2 cubed over 3 factorial. Then I'm going to have to compensate that by dividing by 2 here. So you have a C1 minus 1 quarter over 2. All right. So let's look at the C5. All right. C5 is going to be, so we can try n equals 3. So it's going to be negative. So we have a negative here. And then you have a 2 factorial over we have a 5 times 4 so 5 times 4 then you have a cn so it's going to be c3 right but c3 is the the previous answer here so i'm gonna uh, plug this guy in here then this is what we get so this is going to be right so you have a negative negative so it's going to be negative 1 squared all right and 2 squared and uh, 2 cubed so it's you're going to have 2 to the fifth power and 5 times 4 times 3 factorial is 5 factorial then you're going to get uh, this uh, kind of uh, yucky expression so it's a c1 minus 1 quarter over 2 all right now we're beginning to see the pattern. So I'm going to just say uh, dot, 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 right? So it's going to be C2n plus 1 is going to be equal to, right? So you're going to have a negative 1 to the n, so that's that. And it's going to be 2 to the index power, so it's going to be 2n plus 1 over, right, index factorial. So 2n plus 1 is the index factorial. Then you have this uh, kind of strange expression, C1 minus 1 quarter over 2. 
All right. So we got the uh, odd coefficient and the even coefficient there. All right, so what we're going to get is going to be, the solution is going to look like this. All right, so y is equal to, all right, summation. All right, let's do the even terms first. So it's going to go from 0 to infinity. All right, so here, uh, everyone seems to have c0. So I'm going to put the c0 outside. All right, then you're going to have, uh, negative 1 to the n, then you have a 2 to the 2n over 2n factorial x to the 2n, right? And all terms, uh, you have to be careful because uh, c1 doesn't follow the pattern, so I'm going to just uh, put c1 separately. So you're going to have all right, so C1, X is separate, all right? But everyone else is going to have C1 minus 1, or 1 quarter over 2. So I'm going to put the um, uh, C1 minus 1 quarter over 2. All right, that's just a constant. Then you have a summation. All right, this one n starts from 1 because I already have c1 uh, out here. So I'm going to start from n1, all right? Then you're going to get uh, to infinity, all right? You have negative 1 to the n, 2 to the 2n plus 1 over 2n plus 1 factorial. And then you have x to the 2n plus 1. All right, so let's do a little bit of rewriting here. So here, uh, we can write it as, all right, so C0 is outside. You have a summation. Uh, N goes from 0 to infinity, uh, looking good so far. Then we have uh, negative 1 to the N. All right, I'm going to combine 2 to the 2N and X to the 2N. So we can write it as uh, 2X to the 2n over uh, 2n factorial. So that's that. And here, I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to just leave uh, c1x right here. Right here, uh, I, I would like to start from uh, uh, 0. So if I change that to, so for example, plus uh, c1 negative one quarter over two. And if you add that uh, n equals zero term, right, to this, we have to end up combine that two to two x to the two n plus one over two n plus one factorial. All right, since I added this uh, uh, very first term, uh, n equals 0, I'm going to have to subtract that, which is negative. We have to subtract right, c1 minus 1 quarter over 2. Then x is a 2x. So I'm going to put the 2x here. All right. So I added the uh, you know, very first term in here so that the, we can start from uh, n equals 0. But since I added the extra terms, I subtract that term away, All right? Then what you get is this. We can actually simplify. So there's a 2 on the bottom, 2 on top, All right? Then you have a C1x minus C1x. So you can cancel those, All right? So what's left is actually positive uh, 1 quarter x. So you're going to get this. This is going to be positive uh, 1 quarter x, so uh, x over 4, All right? So that takes care of uh, this guy right here. Negative uh, minus that guy right there. All right, then here, this uh, power series is a sine of 2x. So we're going to have plus c0. Uh, this is actually this is an even, so it's a cosine of 2x. Sorry about that. So cosine of 2x. All right. And here the constant is kind of strange, but it's a c1 
minus one quarter over two, it's just a number, but uh, this power series is the uh, sine of two x. So you have a sine of two x, all right? So that is the uh, solution. So here's a y of the uh, non-homogeneous equation there. All right, so I'm going to box them out. All right. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.